Tonight at 10, the city of Fairhope is responding to a lawsuit filed by the state attorney general and ADEM. As NBC 15's Corey Pippen tells us, it's because of sewer spills and alleged wastewater violations. Fairhope city officials tell me they can't comment on pending litigation, but they're devoted to fixing the problems within their wastewater system. Tonight, roadwork signs and detours are a part of life in downtown Fairhope as work continues on multi-million dollar sewer upgrades. But the rapidly growing city is now the focus of a state lawsuit as the Attorney General and ADEM allege its wastewater treatment system violated the Alabama Water Pollution Control Act. Whatever it is that we need to do to, to satisfy the state of Alabama, you know, we're going to step up to the plate and, and work, with the, work with the state and do whatever it is that we need to do. The suit claims more than 2 million gallons of treated sewage were spilled during 99 sanitary sewer overflows dating back to April of 2015, many of which were not reported to ADEM or the public as required by law. ADEM also alleges the city's treatment facility discharged pollutants into Mobile Bay without proper monitoring in February and March of 2018 and allowed more than 2,000 gallons of sludge to spill into Big Mouth Gully due to a broken pump line in October of the same year. Fairhope is the fastest growing city in the state of Alabama, and uh, we do have some aging infrastructure, but we have been spending a lot of time, money, and efforts to repair our sewer system and upgrade our sewer system. Fairhope Mayor Karen Wilson sent me a statement regarding the issue saying, quote, there have been more rehabilitation and infrastructure upgrades to our sewer system in the last few years than in the last 50. We own all of our utilities and all are being updated after decades of neglect. I reached out to Fairhope Utilities Water Superintendent Jay Whitman about the state's allegations, but I have not heard back. Each violation in the state lawsuit carries a fine of up to $25,000. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.